Hey guys, and welcome to a, a lighthouse stash guide. So there are 20 stashes on the lighthouse, and we are starting down the southeast section of the map. Right there is the Grand Chateau Tarkov Hill building malarkey, as you can see right here. And this is where we're going to start off, and it's going to loop all the way down, all the way on the opposite side, following the coastline up, up to the train yard, and then back down to the um, shoreline extract. If you guys do find this video useful please give it a like and subscribe it does awfully help with the good old youtube algo so our first stash we're going to head down to this car right here i will be popping a stem just so that we don't have to spend a million hours in this video so this first car here what we're going to do is turn 90 degrees to our left hand side run straight through you can see a bush just behind this rock right here and right there is our first stash also, don't forget to look up to the top right hand side of this video. You will see a dynamic mini map that does follow me through. I do get a lot of questions asking if it's an end game thing. No, it is purely done in post editing. So, yeah, you don't need to ask that question. So, jumping over the barbed wire, barbed wire, I'm pretty sure that's a fence. And we're going to head like we are going towards the tunnel extra, but we're not. We're going to go just to the left of where we got this ridge. And you can see the crash helicopter over there to our left hand side. Follow this ridge line all the way along past this thicket of trees and you've got this little polypher by itself just go past it and then right in this little chasm area or this little area is the next barrel stash what we're now going to do is follow it all the way around to the right hand side and we're actually going to want to go onto top of the rocks just over in this direction that is actually overlooking the lighthouse itself you can always go around that way the normal route but because we're a hardcore parkour max level player we're gonna go and do the hardcore parkour route coming up and over this way we're now going to head on top of the area just up here and what we're going to do is basically line ourselves so that the colifer is in line with the lighthouse and then you can actually see the stash directly here now what we're going to do is turn to our left and then we're going to literally head down this hill just like it's skyrim arc of physics is 10 out of 10 once we've gone down here we're going to look for a wheel that's leaning against a railing just like so and then we're going to pop over this uh this railing right here and we should land directly next to the stash just like so now we're going to go back on ourselves and we're going to follow this road all the way down so once you've reached the car that is somehow flipped on its side, we're going to go and turn to our left and head to these little bit of like a little island outcrop, I, I, you know, this little section down here. And actually we're going to go onto this little island and then the stash is just here next to this bush. Doing a 180, we can see this giant rock face over to the left hand side. This is where we're going to go next. So back up over and then we're going to see that there is quite a uh, severe overhang directly in front of us and you can see the next stash spawning in right here make sure you don't get too far to the left because the wonderful sniper man will snipe you and yeah all the fun kind of things like that so we're now going to head over to this village just like so and we're going to look for kind of like a makeshift pathway that is uh, directly in front of us running up this ridge line so i'm gonna have a quick look around so you can kind of gauge where we're going so you can see there's like this kind of weird crop in we're gonna continue up this little crop literally in a straight line and you can see directly in front of us is that um sunken whatever it's called and the stash is directly here you can see it's just there there's another portal call it did take me <laughs> It's taking me a wee little bit to figure this one out next we are actually going to go and head over to that sorry about the screen going in and out it's uh, a side effect of the um, sj6 and the 3b pg so we are here at the sunken house and what we're going to do is go directly underneath it and you can see all these little rocks right here and just here is the next stash now what we're going to do is head up to this little rock line where you have the toilet looking out into the ocean and i'm pretty sure that it is some sort of rick and morty reference because uh well how can you not reference rick and morty
so heading up just like so following this kind of little makeshift path we're going to look for a rock directly in the center of this rock area you can see the chateau is now directly opposite us and don't get confused this isn't the hill with the petrified tree it is it's one well to the south of it so you got this rock right here we're going to turn and look in this direction we're going to waddle over here and we can find the next stash just like so now this next one is a bit of a journey on the way so i am just going to quickly say make sure you come and check out the twitch channel i do stream every single day at around about 10 p.m gmt which is around about 5 p.m est come over and say hi we do stream seven days a week okie dokie so we are kind of getting a bit more close to the rogue area so on live servers obviously you need to watch yourself because you've got the wonderful rogues and i'd also recommend if you just don't run up the road like that because you, lighthouse is such a linear map you've got snipers that basically watch the entirety of this area but we're now going to go to the left hand side walk up the quiet coast and you're going to see this little car parked in the road you're basically going to be pointing like this direction where the bumper is going through these wonderful set of trees and then the stash is just here what we're now going to do is head across the water and we're just going to go by the usec one building okay so we've just run past the checkpoint which is just there over there is the wonderful usec one building and of course watch out for the gunner on top as well as the few that are over in that direction you see this cute little rock pool area what we're gonna do is run down the right hand side of this area again sorry about the tunnel vision there's not much i can do about it jump over all of this wonderful um bush and rocks and you can see directly in front of us right here is the next stash have a quick look around so you can kind of gauge where we're going to be going so the next location is actually again up the coastline i am just going to go from the main road and of course watch out for mines because there are mines dotted all over the place but there's a mine warning label right there but i don't actually think there's any mines in this section here but anyway do watch yourself okie dokie again <laughs> so we've uh, passed the usec one build and that's the road down there to usec two um with this road here we are going to turn to our left and head down this kind of little dirt sandy little track here and we're going to follow it to the right and you can see another little dirt sandy track you can see this little dirt sandy track does end right here and we're going to look into this little section just here and inside this bush right there is the next stash now what we're going to do is continue heading up the road just like you were before just passing the railway station well the little railway building on our right here so just making our way up we have this little x thing blocking the road and then you have got a shield right there and we're going to go to the lamppost that is just here just next to this lamppost is this little rock by itself walk to the left hand side of it tucked into this little section right here is the next stash now what we are going to do is go to the go around the back of this little train station area here and we're going to go just next to where the fuel um little section at the top of the map is where you had to mark it for one of your tasks So arriving at the top of the train area, you can see right there is the fuel tank of things. And we're going to look for this little portal cabin just to this le left of the, uh, I don't know what it actually is, trailer thing. Just to the left of that through the bushes right here is the next stash. Now what we're going to do is do some hardcore parkour. Yes. And pass through these uh, train, uh, the, the fuel tankers, past the cargo area. And what we're actually going to do is go into the corner of this train area through just like so follow this wall down on the left hand side and then right in the corner just jump through these bushes like a madman and directly in front of us here is the next stash i will show you one thing if you do want to jump over this barbed wire you can always just jump on top of these boxes 
can do some more hardcore parkour just like so and we're gonna head basically to the opposite side of the music 3 building again watch out because well you're at the water treatment area and this place is full of rogues pmcs and snipey snipe stuff so you do need to watch yourself and a good old face of prepper so these last five stashes are kind of all up in this area you do kind of need to watch out for landmines a bit but you should be okay realistically so right here just underneath the um tube type thing is our next stash what we're gonna do is turn and we're gonna follow this ridge line the entire way up until we hit a little lake there isn't any landmines in this area so you don't need to stress about it it's actually the one after this one where you do kind of get a bit close to some landmines but you should be okay if you got a head on those shoulders so we have made it up here what we're actually going to be looking for is a little bush that's by itself and just like so and then you can see all this little um foliage malarkey and just behind this foliage one that i can never seem to find and here it is so it's in the left like i don't know what color that is green foliage not the right one the left one we're going to continue on and we're going to head over in this direction and this is where you are going to want to be a wee bit careful of landmines and again we've got to use these kind of weird weird reef things as a landmark as it is actually out in the open so you can see right there i'm pretty sure i can't read russian but i'm assuming that says that it's mined and that area is all mined and we're gonna look for this patch of reeds reefs I, I don't know what these are called this stuff here the best way to line yourself up is if you've got that sign right there and just the left hand side of it you can see the dome and this is going to be the reed field just here and the stash is directly here so you can see it's kind of a bit awkward but it does actually line you up with the um with the reefs and then the stash is just there the mines are here to the right so yes again watch yourself so we're going to continue heading along the edge of the map there is just a little lake down here and we're going to be on the left hand side of this lake literally following the border of the map so passing the lake on the right side there we're going to head up and we're going to look for some rocks directly in front of us just like so and we're going to go to the left of these rocks and there's a bush right here and you can see inside this bush is the next stash now turning around we are going to go to our final stash and pop our final two stems and it is literally just on the other side of this rock face go this way follow it through have to go around watch yourself it is kind of a big drop on the other side of these rocks we'll go around the right side just to be on the safe side follow it through and then the final section of rocks just like so and then here awkwardly is the final stash right in the corner of the map and then literally just down here i quickly run down you have got the village there to the left the messed up village over there and then shoreline is literally the shoreline just there so that's the extra directly there guys don't forget to check out the twitch channel we do stream every single day and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on this video if i for some magical reason missed the stash please leave a comment down below whereabouts it is and then i can actually update this video but i'm pretty sure that there is just 20 stashes a huge thank you to all of my patreon supporters over on patreon.com slash piranha tv and a special thank you to mr ir bribe justin asdf freddy and beansy for your continued support